Hi everyone. Hi. I'm Lisa. <laughs> and I'm Renee. And together we are the Tapping Duo. So let's see. Last night was Disney Week it on was. Dancing with the Stars. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I thought it was. I was thinking about how in the past seasons I just go, oh God, not another advertisement. But I really enjoyed last night's Disney Week. Well, it. Mandy Moore did a great job on the opening number. She did, and Alfonso Rivera, he can sing and dance. He's very entertaining and engaging. And those two little kids, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, the whole thing was fun. That was a great opening number. It really was. It was to What Would a Little Magic Do? By District, By District 78, 78, I believe. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really good. So, should we get started? We should. Okay. Okay, so last night, the first one up was Rashad. Now, in the past, he's been a pretty strong performer. How do you feel he did? He did Beauty and the Beast, Josh Groban's Evermore. Well, first of all, Evermore is a wonderful song, isn't it? Yes, oh. but I don't know it's a dancing song. Yeah, it is. It's a it listening is, it, song. Yeah, but it is when you're doing a foxtrot. Okay. It's pretty cool. He got a 32. Did you like it? I did. Okay. I did. Well, because I, I, I love that song so much. You could, I, And you know I can dance to anything. So I love, I love that Emma has such a chance to do so well with somebody who can really dance. Because I love Emma. Uh -huh. I, I think she's terrific. Well, I thought that the Foxtrot was challenging for him because contemporary he can do because he has freedom. But I found the Foxtrot, he was just kind of heavy and... A little flat-footed? Yeah. Not coming I think they mentioned that too, right? I don't know. I don't listen to them. Oh, okay. 32. <laughs> they got a, he got a 32. Next, we have Nick and Peta. Yes, they did Pinocchio. I love that he shaved his beard. Because <laughs> I'm not into facial hair. Right, right. So he looked nice. He looked 20 years younger. He did. I thought that was a very creative number. Very he creative. He had to use, first he had to pretend he had strengths, then he didn't have strength, then he had a king. I thought he had moved along the floor and all the different accoutrements really well. Well, Peta did a great job. She had a piece of music that was very hard to follow. So her creativity and him being able to do it, uh -huh. I thought was just awesome. Costume was cute too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next we have your not so favorite, Erica and Gleb. Do you want to comment about them now? Okay, we'll come back to them later. Well, they did Unforgettable. Yeah, Viennese Waltz. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. I didn't find that a particularly danceable number either. Okay, next we had Heather and Alan, Matt, choreographed by Max. They did Frozen. They did. A jazz number, which Heather was very cute because she was like, oh, good, up my alley. And then she was like, oh, I better be careful in case I don't do so well. What do you think? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I know they had a little harder time with it because they didn't think there was enough content. Uh huh. But, um,. I was thoroughly enjoying it. I, I smiled through the whole thing. I think I even clapped. I think Heather had a really she good time. She did. She had a ball doing that. You could tell her she's just a little girl doing it. Uh -huh. I, I really enjoyed their number last night. They got a 34. And I thought Alan did a great job on the choreography, too. Mm -hmm. Max. Alan danced with him. He hasn't yet been able to Max did the choreograph choreography, yes, but Alan did a great job dancing. Yeah, yes. he does. Yes. He's, he's growing into a nice dancer. And Max will be back. He's done. Oh, really? Uh-huh. They announced it last night. He will now take over and dance with Heather again. Oh, okay. That's going to be hard for Heather to readjust to a whole new partner. I know. Well, I guess that's show -based. She's a professional. She'll be fine. <laughs> okay, then we have Bonner and Sharna from Wreck-It Ralph. I thought Sharna was very creative. Yeah, it was doing really, the video really game. Cute. And they I thought the tango really suited him because the tango, you are very kind of stiff. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I enjoyed their number a lot. And now, she even looks good in dark hair, doesn't she? Okay, now Bonner got a 30, <laughs> which wasn't one of the high points of the night. In fact, it was one of the low points of the night. But I thought he did as well as Erica or even Rashad. I agree with that, totally. And so, I don't know why they marked him down so much. They know. Uh, Sometimes they set these stars up. I do. Okay. I think they are trying to get somebody else higher. Yes. So they marked somebody else lower, lower, and he was a good choice because I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, next group was Val and Nor Normani. Right yeah. Here. She, she's phenomenal. Bill and I are pretty sure we want her to win. Oh, yeah. she's, she's From the first night, that's who we were rooting yeah, for. Yeah, she's your most natural, uh, musicality-wise, mm -hmm. um, uh, body-wise for a dancer, uh -huh. you know. 
um, long lines, legs, arms. And very comfortable. Very comfortable in her own skin. So uh, this is the for forerunner here. And I hope she has the, the front runner. I hope she has the fan base. Yeah, me too. The so votes. You vote know? for her. She's very good. And if you haven't seen Mulan, you should see Mulan. Probably one of the best female-driven movies of Disney. I haven't seen it. And I love that Normani knew exactly. She knew the movie. She grew up on the movie. My kids grew up on the movie. It's very empowering for me. I need to see it. You do. I've never you seen have it. Girl, you have granddaughters. They need to see it. Oh, well, then the movie. Not that the boys wouldn't like it, too, because there's a lot of. Yeah. But it's still really good. It's really good. Okay. okay. All right. Then we have David and Lindsay. Here's David and they Lindsay. They did a jive. How do you think he did last night? I think jives are hard. Jives usually take people out. So if he stays, it'll only be by fan base. Because usually a quick step and a jive take people out. They're hard. They're, they're very hard. And they're rough on the body, you know, as evidenced. Yeah. Now, that was interesting because I, was, I commented to you earlier that I thought they were doing a much better job keeping connections with their partner. Uh -huh. But I noticed in the jive, Lindsay and Dave, David danced it side by side. So there would not be a connection. Yeah. That's a tough number, and it was fast. I mean, it, it's t it's very aerobic. Yeah. You know? So, anyway, he has a huge fan base. He probably will be fine. And his son was awful cute. I don't know if you saw the little package with his <laughs> I son. I did, I did, I did. That was pretty cute. Skyping in. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we had Nancy and Artem. Right here. They did a jazz to Enchanted. You feel like she's coming along in the emoting? Yeah, I think she has a process that she has to go through. And uh, she has to beat herself up before she can realize. You know, now Erin Anders kept saying, did you see that interview? Yes. You're Nancy Kerrigan. You're Nancy Kerrigan. Well, and Nancy said something very true. She goes, it's different. And she goes, no, but you're an ice skater. It's different. These two that at the end here, we have um, Simone. Uh, Simone next, who's a gymnast. And we have an ice skater. It has nothing to do with dancing. It's totally different. All of it's totally different. Mm -hmm. You know, Nancy's... Finding her um, her dance ability that she could have added years ago. When I was 18, I was in a dance class with Peggy Fleming. For those of you who are old enough to remember Peggy Fleming, she won the Olympics that year, and she was a terrible dancer in the class. <laughs> she was just a terrible dancer in the class, and she was there to get better as a dancer so she could take that to the ice, the ice, the ice. and that's what Nancy's talking about. It isn't the same thing, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I, I, I liked her. I thought she fit her character really well. Uh -huh. She was enchanted. You know what I mean? I, did. she, I didn't recognize her when she first came out. I went, who is that? Because I think they colored her hair or she had a wig yes, on. Yes, exactly. One of the two, I wasn't sure. And then and the last Simone. one of the night was Simone and Sasha. What did you think of Simone? I think by doing contemporary number, you could throw in a lot of gymnastics and not have to do a lot of dance. I think that she's a tremendous athlete, very strong. So did you but think she was a doing a floor first. exercise? Yeah, she's, she, she's a gymnast first and a dancer. Second, Lori Hernandez last season was able to bring the dance element right away. Yeah, she did. And I it's agree. taking Simone a little longer to um, bring the Do dance. you think that's just a visual thing? Because she is so muscular versus Lori, who was not. You think you're looking at a visual... No, hers is... Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I see Simone as a little more choppy. Oh, in her fluidity of her one mm -hmm. move to another. Well, that's true. She literally, to me last night, I loved her as Mulan. I thought she was really a cute Mulan. Wasn't Absolutely. She, she fit that character perfect. She's a very, very strong girl. But I, I, what I saw was a, uh, a floor routine in gymnastics that was just emphasized more and mm -hmm. added some dance to it rather than um, a dance routine that had a little bit of gymnastics in it. Yes. That's that's how I saw that. Yeah, I would agree. And then we had our bottom three. We did. They were Erica, Nick, and Normani. Normani should have never been in the bottom three, but no. they do that to throw you off. Did you know that? <laughs> Make you worried and stay to the very yeah, end. Yeah, there's the just show. no way she should have. If she had gone off before some of these others, especially Nick. But it's literally <laughs> the teaser to keep you watching to the end of the show. Sure. Sure. Right? If it were three how awful reasonable is it? Seriously, possibilities. Seriously, how I'm sorry to interrupt you, but seriously, how awful is it to be told you're in the bottom three and then you have to dance? 
Yeah, what was that? I don't know. I don't know if they've ever done that before. Have they done that before? Yeah, they try to change it up. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead, finish your thought. Did you forget? I have no idea. Okay. So, who went home? Who went home? Um, where is she? She's, She's right, right here. here. By the way, did anybody see her on Kelly this morning? Okay, she was on Kelly this morning. This is morning. Erica and Gleb. Yeah, yeah Eric, sorry, Erica and Gleb. She was on Kelly this morning, and I think from reading her body language, first of all, she had a black sleek outfit on, which really she looked, looked great. She looked really good, didn't she? <laughs> she did. She looked so relieved to be done. Do you think she could have also been less stressed because she had clothing on while she was dancing and she didn't have any of those worries? Because I think about that. They are um, so scantily dressed. I think Nancy Kerrigan would have those issues, but I'm not sure she feels that way. Okay. Well, she's pretty okay with her. She's, no. yeah, well, she seems to be. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. You know how you have people in your life you're comfortable with, and then you have people in your life you're not comfortable with, uh -huh. and yet all those people are really nice people, uh -huh. but you don't fit? Because you just don't. I mean, it has nothing to do with them. It's just... You're uncomfortable. You need to leave. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like she felt that way with all these people. And she, she never no, met. That wasn't her tribe. She, yes. It wasn't her tribe. She didn't say, "Oh, it was family." Well, we've made a great family. She didn't even thank Gleb for being a great uh, mm -hmm. partner, which Charo didn't either. But maybe it's because the self-absorbed girls that are all about themselves forget about that they had a partner that trained them. <laughs> I don't know. Fascinating, isn't it? It is. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's say goodbye. Bye. Going See you later. Bye-bye, Erica. I don't remember what next week's is. Did they announce what it was? They could have. I don't remember either. Okay. Sorry. If anybody remembers, let us know, okay? Yeah. We'd love to have that. We, by the way, we have a guest a host here today. We didn't show her on film, but my mom's here. She's sitting right over there. Say hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming and watching. And... Um, She's our audience member. Anybody else like to be an audience member? We have plenty of seats. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.